Hello, I'm Jamie, and welcome to the Cobra Kid Podcast, a podcast where I talk through each episode of Cobra Kai, this great Netflix show. Today, I will be going through season one of Cobra Kai. Let's get straight into it. Season one starts 30 years after the 1984 All Valley Tournament, when Daniel does the famous crane kick on Johnny. We then see the transition to today, where we see Johnny in his bed, hungover, with a bottle of beer by his bed and Chris all over. We can clearly see that he'd been out the night before drinking. However, Daniel is doing amazing, which is way different to the first Crafty Kid where he moved into a cheap flat with his mum. But he's doing amazing now and runs his own showroom which is pretty cool if you ask me. So now we've seen both sides of the story, let's dive a bit deeper into their lives. We see Johnny go out driving while he's drunk and parks his car outside the Old Valley Sports Center. He then has a flashback of when John Kreese smashed his second place trophy and strangled him. He's then rudely interrupted when some girls crashed into his car and the car is towed to LaRusso Autos. It's the next day in the valley and Johnny wants his car to be taken into a different dealership because Daniel is the boss at LaRusso Autos. But that doesn't work out as Daniel spots Johnny and says he will repair Johnny's car for free. But Johnny still isn't happy so he gets his car repaired at a different dealership. We then meet Miguel, Johnny's new neighbour, who went to the shop and came out just to get beaten up by Kyla, who's dating Sam, Daniel's daughter. Johnny sees this and then kicks Kyla's butt, then gets arrested. Hmm, <laughs> double butt. Miguel now wants to learn karate, so he asks Johnny to teach him, and it takes some convincing, but he agrees in the end. So now Johnny is teaching Miguel karate. He opens up a dojo called Yes, you guessed it, Cobra Kai. And Cobra Kai wasn't well liked in the valley because of what they did in the 80s. We are now at the school and Kyla runs into Miguel and Miguel beats him up. Sam sees this and ends up with Miguel. So now Johnny's associated with Miguel and Sam is associated with Daniel. Now Sam and Miguel are dating. Cute. Meanwhile, while all this is happening, Johnny's son goes to work at LaRusso's Autos just to annoy Johnny. Robbie, who is Johnny's son, goes to Daniel's house and sees him doing his own form of karate, Miyagi-Do karate, and wants to join in. We now have enemies who both have dojos, but who will come out on top. The school fight goes viral, so Aisha, a girl from the school, wants to join Cobra Kai. But Johnny is sceptical at first, but lets her in. Fast forward a couple of months, Johnny now has so many students, but he makes fun of this kid called Eli Muskowitz and Dimitri. I don't know Dimitri's last name. After a couple of days, Eli comes back newly and evolved, and his name is now Hawk. A couple of days after, there's a big tournament called the All Valley. Do you remember the name? Yes, it's the same tournament Johnny and Daniel fought in, and Daniel won. But now Miguel wins for Cobra Kai, so it's sequel 1-1. That same night, someone comes through the door of Cobra Kai and stands in the shadows. Who is it? John Kreese. So that was season one in a nutshell. I really hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, Don't forget to subscribe and comment via the show notes. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.